So most of you guys have already known about the shocking news of Mr. Olympia Sean Roden being banned from the Olympia competition after rape charges. For those who haven't heard about it yet, Sean lost his eligibility for the 2019 Mr. Olympia contest one day after he was charged with raping a woman in a hotel room. American media CEO David Picker announced in a statement Friday that he had revoked Roden's eligibility in the competition this year and in future years. The competition is owned by American media. The company also announced it would suspend coverage of Roden in its media brands, including Muscle and Fitness and Flex magazines, until the case has been resolved. Sean Roden, 44 years old, was charged Thursday with rape and object rape, both first-degree felonies and forcible sexual abuse, a second-degree felony. The woman, a female competitive bodybuilder who described Roden as a mentor, went to visit Roden at his hotel on October 12, 2018, while he was visiting Utah from California, according to the charging documents. The woman told the police that Roden forced himself on her and sexually assaulted her, despite her trying to push him away and telling him repeatedly to stop. She said Roden stopped and let her leave when she told him that she needed to go downstairs or a friend waiting in the lobby would know something was up. A DNA sample found on the woman's body was matched to Roden, as the police said. It's better not to jump into premature assumptions about this, because Sean has not been convicted yet and all these are still allegations. But why did they ban him from the Olympia if he is not convicted yet? I'm not American and I don't have any idea how the American law works. I mean, what if the woman was lying and all this was set up to destroy Sean? Another question is, if Sean was proven guilty, would the IFBB strip him of the title and would give it to Phil who was placed second? Now, if Sean was absent from the 2019 Mr. Olympia, this would open the door for a lot of possibilities, among which the potential return of Phil Heath to regain the title he lost last year. In case Phil decided to retire and to be content with his seven Olympia wins, we still have Brandon Carey, William Bonac, Rolly Winkler and Dexter Jackson competing to win the gold. Born in 1982, Brandon Carey, in my opinion, would be the closest to win the title if he managed to replicate the incredible physique which enabled him to win the 2019 Arnold Classic. This man is Mr. Olympia material, with his wide chest, shoulders and lats, along with his small waist, with the massive arms and the separated quads. He is as impressive from the back as well, with his massive and ripped lats and traps, and striated glutes and hamstrings. William Bonac, who was placed second at the 2019 Arnold Classic and won the 2019 Arnold Classic Australia, is a very powerful contender who also has what it takes to become Mr. Olympia. His physique has always been compared to that of Phil due to the rounded shape muscles he has. William is complete with his massive shoulders, rounded and striated chest, incredibly separated thighs and conditioned back. But he lacks the width Brandon has and does not have a small waist to grant him Brandon's impressive V taper. The beast Rolly Winkler arguably had his best shape ever at the 2018 Mr. Olympia when he was placed third, but unfortunately he could not replicate the same impressive physique and was placed fifth at the 2019 Arnold Classic and third at the 2019 Arnold Classic Australia. As much as he is impressive from the front with his massive arms and lats, Rowley has a major weakness in his back, which does not allow him to show the same details and the same conditioning Brandon Carey, for example, can show. So it all depends on his conditioning, because the better the conditioning, the more dangerous Rowley is. As for Dexter, he was placed 7th at the 2018 Mr. Olympia. I believe that his prime is way behind him. He is almost 50 years old, and I don't think that he has any chance finding a place among the top 3 this year, with news reporting that he is going to retire after this year's Olympia. So with the absence of Big Ramy due to his shoulders injury, and in case Sean Roden was banned, I think it will be between Brandon Carey, William Bonac and Rolly Winkler, unless Phil decided to come back to fight for the title he lost last year. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.